Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Harmony. Today is Sunday, July 18th, and this is super random, but I thought I would just vlog a little bit for you guys because we're doing a little DIY for the house and we've been wanting to make a dining room table. We bought a butcher block to use as like the actual table and that will match the countertops in our kitchen. We have to stain it. Den did start staining it a few weeks ago, but I don't like the color. I wasn't here when he did it. So we have to sand it and restain it. We also bought legs for the table. I will show you guys those later. But we decided to start working on it today and I just wanted to bring you guys along. So yeah, he just ran to Lowe's to get some more sandpaper. So he should be back soon and we'll get working on it. So this is what it currently looks like. This is the stain that he put on it. I just think it's like too dark and a little bit like red tinted. I don't know if you guys can even see that with like the lighting out here, but I wasn't a fan. So we got a new stain and we're going to put that on after we sand this one off. much later from when you saw those first couple of clips but I'm going to work on the table I haven't done anything since then it's just been a busy couple of weeks so we're going to work on this table sand some more of it we're in the basement sorry if it's loud the laundry is running but we're going to get some work done we got how the than I thought it would be, but we got the sandpaper on, so let's start sanding. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't last long. I keep ripping this uh, piece of sandpaper off of here because I guess I didn't put it on right, so I'm going to wait till Dan gets home, but this is what it looks like. All right, you guys, so I think we're finally finished sanding this for now. I know there's still a little bit on there, but this is going to be the bottom of the table, so you won't really see it anyways. So I'm going to wipe it off with a damp cloth to make sure all the dust is off. And then once that is dry and everything, we'll stain it. Just wiped it down with a wet cloth. You can see parts of it are already starting to dry because it was just a little damp just to get all of the sand off, all like the dust from sanding it and yeah so soon we will stain it we're going to use we're going to use this stain hopefully i like this one because the whole reason i had to do this because i didn't like the last stain that we tried um so we're going to choose this one it's a dark walnut and hopefully i like it this is the one Den had tried before that I didn't like that was just like a little too red toned for me. So, so you guys know, but yeah, we're going to try this dark walnut.
All right, the first coat of stain is done. This is definitely darker than the countertops, and I obviously can see that, but I do think it matches the other furniture that we bought for the other living room. Like, the wood is a little bit darker, so I think it'll be okay. I definitely don't want it to get too much darker than it is right now. So, I don't know how many coats we're going to do, but... I'm excited that it's all coming together. Again, this is the bottom of the table, so I still have to do the top. Um, I did the edges, although it looks like I missed a spot. I'll have to get that. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Right, you guys the grand reveal here is what our dining room table looks like we are still waiting for the bench that's supposed to come later today so i will show you everything put together but i'm so excited and i feel like it means so much more since i literally made this with my hands <laughs> yeah the lighting is kind of weird so it like looks weird but this is what it looks like these are the legs we got them off etsy i will Try to link them down below so you guys can check them out. The chairs are from Target. They are metal to match the legs. And the bench is wood, but it is black. Um, I will show you later. It kind of matches the style that the legs are. So you'll see that later. But this is the table. I'm so, so happy with it. actually did end up using this the top that we have right now is actually what I said would be the bottom, if you guys remember as I was making it, because there was a spot of the red stain that I didn't get off that was on the other side that I didn't realize was there and then stained over it. And you can see it and I hate it. So that's on the bottom. You can't see it, obviously. So this is the side that did originally have all that red stain on it. So it looks so much better. Obviously a lot of work, but I really liked it. I think it was worth it for the price. Um, we paid about $250, $300 for the wood, and then the legs were also like $300. Um, these chairs were, I think it was like two for like around $150, I want to say. Um, maybe a little bit less than that. And then the bench... I want to say it was close to like $200, um, maybe like $180, something like that. But yeah, so definitely, I think it was cost effective for what we wanted. I'm really happy with it. So again, I will show you guys later when the whole setup is ready. Also, I don't know if we're going to keep it over here. I kind of do like it over here because now we have this walkway to get from the kitchen to the back door for the dogs and everything. And just like when people come over. Um, obviously when people come over, we'll probably turn it out so you can get on either side of it, but it's nice and out of the way. I don't know if it'll look weird once like the sectional is back here, but we'll figure that out when the time comes and it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see, but over there, there's a black wooden bench, which is also from Target. Let me see if you can see it better over here. Yes. So there's the bench. Super cute. I love it. I'm so excited that it's finally done. So I was just editing this video and I saw that I never ended it off. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video seeing me DIY our dining room table. I absolutely love it and I love that we made it ourselves. I think it just makes it a little bit more special. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.